we'll go just above the, uh, get a little static, and that's why that goes to the side. Don't, don't worry about it. We're just going above this little mold line that's in there. We go to part A. I'm left-handed, so we'll switch these. You want a fairly level pouring surface. And we're going to just do the same thing here. Again, I have shaky moments, so it's easier to pour a little off of this big jug. Because you can pinch this. That's why I was kind of dribbling out of these cups, little paper cups. You don't want to get wax cups because you'll, you could possibly mix some of the wax into the material. So you just want like a good, like these hot cups. These are paper and there's not really a lining in there that'll scrape off. So we're just gonna go. So it's a one to one mixture? One to one by volume. Again, looks pretty good there. One little drop as usual. Yeah, double check, mix ratio, one to one by volume. Okay, real important you read that stuff because there's some foams that are like 96 to 64 or whatever, and you gotta really stay on top of that. Challenge here is they're both kind of thick. This seems to be a little runnier, so we'll pour that one into the thick. So if we go this way, all the thick stuff's gonna stay in the cup. Is there any modifications to ratios that you would recommend for temperature differences, or is that not that big of a deal? Uh, you have make... to read the data sheets on that. Okay, yeah. Living in California, I don't really have to worry about that stuff, other than the heat of summer really affects the cure time greatly. In yeah, the, if you're on location and you're doing something where you, you can't control the environment. That yeah, I was fun. on a, a, a really great movie for spectral motion called Lady in the Water. I'm sure you guys all saw it. <laughs> ha ha. And, uh, oh, yeah, that cool... Uh, mix the two thoroughly. Grass, grass creature, whatever it was. Scrunt. Yeah, scrunt. No, I was out there at M. Night Shyamalan's house trying to repair some uh, maquettes that his maid cracked nicely. And it was so cold, we couldn't get super, super glue to cure. And of course, we forgot kicker, so. Keep holding it. Okay, mix this stuff fairly quickly. Now we'll pour, pour this in and let the fun ensue. Let the hilarity ensue. <laughs> K. Craig. Yes. So you got gloves on. Mm. Swirl us around. You don't have to get every nook and crown to get in the ears. Okay. And hurry. And then get out of the way. Where's oh, that lid that you gave me? What's it gonna do? No, I used the lid. For what? Oh, you did. Well, you told me to. We're gonna use this lid again. Do is we'll po poke a little hole in it, a little air vent. If it's possible, can we see inside of there? Sorry. No, it's only for me to see. <laughs> I get to do this. You can do it next time. Let's see. Yeah. Let's just sit it here and see what happens. We'll keep this handy in case we need it. Oh, it's this. almost got the ear on this side. Just got a little bit more and I'll get the ear. Here. Let me swab some in there. Foam you don't want to really fool with too much. You want to just let it do its thing. So we're good? Yep, let's just put it here. Oh, it's already expanding. Cool. Yeah, this is the weirdest stuff. It'll seem like, ah, oh, it's not doing anything. You'll go do something, come back, and it's out here. And then sometimes it won't. So it's just a, the, like, I mix such a small amount. It's probably not enough, and it probably won't do that. But look, look where we're at already. It's growing now. Oh, yeah, you can show it. See that? No, top camera. Oh, yeah, you can see it. <laughs> yeah. Look at that. It's like the stuff. I don't There's know some practical you... effects right there for you. The oh, blob. Yeah. I should Dick Smith this. See, we didn't even use half of what I did. Look at that stuff. <laughs> That's what cool. you could do, if we had this lid on it earlier, you don't want to mess with it now with that hole. You could try to pressurize it, and it'll make a denser foam. That's why a lot of closed molds... This is fairly closed mold. I mean, the pour hole's smaller than the whole thing. So you can see how that expanded and we got a little nuclear explosion. Nuclear. Yeah. 
surfaces. Oh, here's something we got to watch out for. Look at molds expanding a little bit. So we're going to hold that shut. Actually, hold that shut. And I'll get. <clears throat> just want to make sure you have proper rubber bandage on this. So is that because of the foam? The foam yeah, the foam will expand. Mm. This case, it's a free form dead head. Might look cool all bloated up. You know, on a flex, if I made a flexible skin like a silicone and then I put an expanding foam in there, bleh, who knows what you get. <clears throat>